Nicole D. Badania writes, Henry Cavill mentioned that Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice would not be a sequel to Man of Steel. But from the trailer that was released, it seemed apparent that the destruction issue with Man of Steel would be addressed in the movie. Also, though this is a far-fetched idea, but could it be possible that DC could set up the cinematic universe as Earth Prime and the Arrow and Flash universe exist on some other Earth? Later on, probably DC Phase 2, these two might coincide and the characters from both the Earth both the Earths could meet up due to some time space discernments. Thank you and bring on the filthy. Um, well, to the first part of the question about Man of Steel, it, Batman vs. Superman is not a Man of Steel sequel, but it is still in the same universe and continuity. So you have Superman's storyline, okay? Here's Superman's storyline. Starts with Man of Steel, and then the Superman storyline that's really just focused on him, the next Man of Steel will be the true sequel. Batman vs. Superman comes in here, and it's not just focused on Man of Steel. It's a larger story, but it does pick up on the events of, Man, of the original Man of Steel. So while it does continue from Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman is not a sequel to Man of Steel. Man of Steel 2 will be a sequel to Man of Steel. As far as this, this question about the DC uh, television versus their movie universe... Look, all I know is that the Warner Brothers people have consistently said that's not happening. They're not crossing those things over. Uh, that, so, I mean, there it is. Whether they're telling the truth or not is whatever, but they seem very firm on that. The thing that makes me believe them about their firmness is that – a guy shouldn't say that a lot – but is that when you look at <laughs> – say take a show like The Flash – the Flash is, so, I, I thought it was, I'll be, I'll get, look, I'll tell you right now, I thought them doing a Flash TV show was a dumb idea. I really did. And and it's it's better than Daredevil. I mean, I, it's it's that good. Wow, it's, really? And I, and I really like Daredevil. Wow. But I just think it's, and it's also very different. That's apples to oranges. They're very different shows. But that, if you watch The Flash, you know, tone-wise, it's a totally different kind of thing. It's like that world, that universe does not fit into that Man of Steel, Batman versus Superman. It's so radically different. Whereas opposed, if you watch, um, regardless of what you think about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., if you watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., it's very consistent in tone and, and feel that the Marvel movies are. This, it just, it just doesn't work. So Marvel says they're not going to do it. The feel of them doesn't feel like it would work. So I would guess no, but anything is possible. Schnepp, how do you see it? Yeah, you know what? How, how I would see it is they would keep it separate. But then if, you know, say in five or six years, they were like, let's do a crisis of infinite te television and movies. You know what I mean? <laughs> and they did a one shot where they could like spin it out into a movie and then a TV special and combine both of them and just have the two different Earths cross over but then keep them separated. That's how I would see it happening. It wouldn't be like, you know, just like Crisis on Infinite Earths, the original comic book from like 30 years ago, they crossed over all these different planets, but then they didn't stay that way. Everybody exploded and became one planet. So that's a concept. It's, a, it's called housekeeping, guys, gals. <laughs> that's what all this stuff is. When you have like 48 planets with 35 Supermans, it gets to a point where you're like, we just need to go back to the one Superman. They're like, Bring on the anti-monitor or whatever the dude's going to be. Well, whoever it's going to be is like, I will eat your planets, you know, and a giant convergence and all these other things. It's a reboot. It's a way to get a fresh start for new readers. It's just the same way with movies. That's why you had Christopher Nolan's Batmans and then those are gone. And now we've got the new Batman and that's going to go on for hopefully 10 years. And hopefully it'll be great. We can't wait to see Ben Affleck do his own Batman movie. But that eventually will end and there'll be another Batman. And that's just how it is. So that's kind of the idea of having these infinite Earth things is is a way if they wanted to do like a, a reboot maybe in 10 years, like have all the Earths combine and then create a brand new thing. That's what I would do. It's so. definitely something to, that the filmmaker is going to have to grapple with coming, you know, as you go forward, because it always seemed like the only time you would reboot a comic book film franchise is if the movie was terrible. Yeah. It's like, oh, man, we, we really hated Bat Nipples or man, we really hated Ang Lee's Hulk. So now we got to redo these characters right. as opposed to servicing some story. And then when Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy ended, which people really liked, it's like, oh, sorry, that Batman's not coming back. And it's not because of the quality of the film. It's just because we're telling a different story now. So that could definitely happen. It's going to happen in the Marvel Cinematic Universe eventually. Tony Stark's not going to be around forever as Robert Downey Jr. Right. Maybe that happens right after Infinity War. Maybe it doesn't. Reading that, that, that question, though, it's a cool idea that you have Earth Prime, then you have a different planet that could have these other heroes on it. I don't, as of right now, I don't see that happening anytime soon but it's something to think about i think for us and for warner brothers 